What's up everyone, Dr. B here, growgreenerguru.com, and uh, today I'm just going to show you a little five minute quick video of uh, what's future to come. Um, this is probably going to be, I don't know, five or six part uh, mini series. I'm going to show you the whole process of what we're growing here. What we have is a 10 gallon tank uh, that you get from uh, Walmart for about $15. And i uh, got some plastic on top to keep humidity in, and what we're going to basically show you is uh, these little guys right here. Uh, praying mantids with a D or praying mantis. Mantis being singular, mantids being plural. Um, two egg cases, approximately 200 eggs per case. So uh, you can count on about 100 to 200 praying mantis per egg, uh, per egg cases, um, or egg case. And uh, we get two uh, cases per little bucket here for about $12.99. So it's about $6 per uh, egg case. But uh, basically, you see that number there, but uh, do not expect anywhere near that. Um, we'll go over a little bit later in the other uh, videos. We're going to leave a lot of the uh, information for the other videos. But basically, um, praying mantis are very, uh, well, they like their space. They don't like being fucked with, and they tend to eat each other, cannibalize, everything like that. So you can only really expect to get a couple out of uh, you know the whole thing. But if you leave them in the same tank, you can almost rest assured that... You know, a couple weeks go by, you're going to have one praying mantis left. So, just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, and males and females too. We'll go over that. Uh, males and females. Females usually tend to eat the males after uh, reproducing. Um, not all the time. It's about a 10 to 20% chance from uh, what I've understood. But if they're in a cage like this, it's almost guaranteed that the female is going to catch the, uh, the male. <laughs> but in uh, nature, the male usually escapes and gets away before... Uh, getting killed. So basically the whole reason behind that is um, You know, it's kind of a long process for uh, prey mantises to mate it could take up to six to twelve hours and uh, Anyway, the uh, female is pretty sore and uh, pretty tired Towards the end of that and she's very hungry and she tries to find the very uh, closest food source available And uh, usually that's the male. So that's why they eat each other. But uh, anyway, um that's why the females eat the males, at least. Uh, you know, they, the whole species will basically eat each other just because they're very, uh, I don't know what the word, I can't think of the word off the top of my head. They're very, they like their space, I guess. They don't like to be, uh, they don't like, you know, they like their territory. They're very territory, territorial, that's what I'm looking for. Anyway, um, we got Echo Earth. This is uh, something you're going to need. Uh, it's basically a cocoa core. They come in three little blocks. It's like basically a brick. You put it in water and it expands a lot. Basically that whole bottom, I know there's a glare here, but there's a, probably that much of the 10 gallon tank is full with coca Core. Uh, you can buy these usually at your pet supply store. Um, I don't think you can, you might be able to use regular cocoa that you use for like growing mediums, but not entirely sure. This is just, you know, built for this, so that's why you get it. It's really cheap. It's only like, I think 10 bucks for, yeah, three blocks. That's like $3 a block. and. Praying mantises, honestly, I mean, this coca core will last a really long time for them, so. Anyway, um, what you're going to need, like I said, 10-gallon tank, a little bit bigger if you want to reproduce them, make more of them, you're going to want more tanks. Um, yeah, plastic, this is basically to keep the humidity in. Don't exactly need it, but it helps. Uh, this is the cover. Usually, they don't come with cover. You just buy it separately, but, um, yeah, so this open this up really quick. All right, so you see that duct tape right there? There's two egg cases right on. I'll pull one out, actually. They look, they resemble like mini, uh, like mini beehives, basically. Same texture, same like appearance and everything like that. So anyway, you're gonna wanna hang these up. Uh, there is a right way to hang them. There's a stem, you know, the stem facing up. So it's like, kind of like, you know, in the same motion. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you can use duct tape, you can use, uh, you know, twisty ties for made for trash bags. You can use, um, you know, hamper up any way to get it really to hang. I just use duct tape. So, anyway, uh, the most expensive part of this whole pro of this whole thing is um, the castle. Is what I bought. That was, I believe, thirty dollars. Uh, nice little decoration, I guess. Um, use it for you know fish tanks. If, you know, it's hand painted, but <laughs> not necessary. But uh, they definitely like stuff to crawl around on. Uh, the green leaves. Those serve one of two purposes. One of the main purposes is uh, they like to hide and they like to uh, climb around vegetation. That's just their natural habitat. And uh, also, you're going to be spraying this frequently with uh, water, with mist. 
and this is basically to keep the humidity in there because they love humidity and they also uh, that's where they drink the water from they drink the water off of the leaves these are a, this is a fake little vine thing you can get these also for fairly cheap I think uh, 11 bucks uh, at your pet supply store but I bought two packages I only needed about half of one so uh, you know anyway uh, pretty cheap so uh, the Coca-Cola like I said was cheap too so the whole most expensive part really was the castle uh, the praying mantises were 12 bucks again so anyway uh, you can expect your uh, praying mantises to hatch in four to six weeks and uh, that's keeping really uh, good temperature like 70 75 degrees room temperature and a relative humidity of at least 50 percent they like humidity in order for the eggs to hatch um, as far as lighting I have a T8 right here and um, this used to be I used to use this for clones but now that I have a clone guy I don't really use it anymore so what we're going to be using it for is uh, pre -mances. but anyway uh, you're going to want to definitely keep your light very far away from the uh, the cage itself you don't want them to fry they don't really need direct sunlight um, they like to hang in the shadows anyway usually outside so um, basically they you know like anything they do need a little bit of sunlight but they don't need direct sunlight so um, if you do you're gonna find them hiding a lot you know trying to get away from that sun so keep the light very high up if you plan on using a light uh, you can basically keep these in the windowsill they don't really need much light they just need very good humidity and warmth so that's where we're gonna keep anyway uh, four to six weeks like I said um, we'll go over a little bit more about you know how to use them what they're made you know made for and everything like that in other videos but basically uh, do not oh it says two to six weeks I thought it was four to six weeks anyway uh, yeah so don't expect to put your um, to put these in your garden and expect to get rid of any problems um, especially spider mites uh, it even says on here I think that they do eat spider mites but they don't um, they're way too big to see those and you know they can't catch them in their claws they're not big enough I mean <laughs> I honestly I mean I've never seen a video of them eating a spider mite never really heard anything about them eating spider mites so I don't really believe it even though it's written on there um, but they do like to eat you know bigger things caterpillars um, you know bigger garden pests aphids stuff like that so um, yeah so there is a few things that they can be used for but don't expect them to throw them into your indoor garden and expect them to get rid of anything um, expect you to throw them in the garden and never see them again basically <laughs> so they like to hide uh, they like to be you know they don't like to be seen when you see them if you give them uh, you know if you're not keeping them in a cage like this if you keep them in a big grow room if you see them they tend to fly away or even fly at you attack you uh, you know they don't like to be around other things they just fucking they're really predators so uh, anyway uh, yeah so four to six weeks two to six weeks uh, we'll be showing you some hopefully uh, the eggs hatching and everything like that and uh, yeah so we'll be giving you more information on them on how to use them everything like that and also we'll be uh, kind of fighting these too we'll be um we're not going to be putting these in our grow room or that I mean but we're gonna have some fun with them that's for sure we're gonna be feeding them probably things that they shouldn't be eating I've seen a lot of videos um, of them eating uh, mice of praying mantis actually eating mice uh, I have a video of that out on the website growgreenagrew.com and also uh, look on YouTube it's on there somewhere and uh, yeah so the, basically praying mantises are pretty fucking cool they like to kill big shit and uh, it's really cool to watch them eat it's kind of barbaric to say the least to watch them eat um, they tend to they eat the faces like eat the heads off their victims before they eat anything else so it's kind of uh, it's kind of gruesome um, you know, I think it's more gruesome than watching a snake eat or anything like that. So, but uh, yeah, so when uh, that comes around, we'll be uh, giving you an update and uh, hopefully, you know, some more information and everything like that. So, anyway, I got like five or six more videos to do today. Hopefully, we can get them all out. And uh, yeah, so until next time, as always, keep green. Peace out.